Welcome to my review of the Jurassic Park T-Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibition set number 76940. God, that was a mouthful. This set was released in September 2021 and retired in December of 2022. It features 198 pieces in total with two minifigures, one animal and a pretty good sized T-Rex build. This set comes from the Camp Cretaceous Lego sets and depicts a fully poseable T-Rex fossil build alongside a mini build featuring a desk with drawing board that can be posed with the characters included in the set. The dinosaur being posable due to how movable each part of it is, is actually the play feature for this set according to Lego. And to be fair, it allows this set to be displayed with a bit of action if you want it to. The price for this set at retail was $24.99, however this set has since retired, but on the second hand market you can expect to pay around the same price. If you want to buy it, there is an Amazon a link in the description and buying through this link helps me out with a little bit commission while having no added cost to you. Now that we've introduced the set on the box we see the assembled set with the dinosaur display quite prominently on the box with its mouth open on top of its exhibition stand with Owen standing next to it. We then have the desk mini bill with Darius holding an egg and a baby triceratops looking like it's about to charge at him. In the bottom left corner we have a look at the included minifigures and characters I guess. It's quite weird to see the T-Rex fossil in this corner in my opinion. Turn to the back we have a different look at the set with the dinosaur off its stand and the baby triceratops taking its place. The desk is displayed again but with Darius and Owen near it this time. Along the bottom we see a few pictures of the set including a look at the T-Rex stand plaque which at this point have not been in the box. I'm unsure as to whether this is a sticker or a printed part but we will find out shortly. The next picture is of the dinosaur's posability which we'll get a closer look later on and finally a look at the desk build again with the characters surrounding it. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more LEGO content like this as well as more. Opening up the box inside we have three bags full of parts, a bag for the T-Rex head, a loose baby triceratops for some reason, a sticker sheet with two stickers on and instructions for the build itself. So here's the assembled set and I'm actually quite surprised at how big the T-Rex fossil is. The fossil stands 18 centimeters high and from front to back it measures in at a reasonable 25 centimeters which in my opinion is actually quite decently sized. A funny detail I noticed on the stand for the T-Rex is the comparison of the dinosaur to a human person. Or is it a human person? Upon closer inspection it's actually a minifigure. Not the most exciting discovery but I thought it was quite funny. Sticking with the T-Rex model I kind of wish it was all one colour but as it is it is comprised of a mishmash of colours which make the T-Rex model look a little bit weird. I'm surprised Lego didn't use all white or nougat for the model as this would have made the model look a lot better than it looks now. Moving on to the rest of the set well what there is left as this is a small set. At first I thought the desk wouldn't really Really interests me but pausing the T-Rex and having the desk nearby actually looks quite interesting. The image shown of the T-Rex's jaw is a sticker which isn't too bad I guess and there's an egg presumably another dinosaur. You could even pause the set in a way where one of the characters are educating the others using the included stick that's on the side of the desk and getting the character to point the stick at the T-Rex jaw image. In terms of playability the T-Rex fossil itself can be paused as stated earlier in the review and the joints used to achieve this are actually quite rigid. I was worried that it was going to be a wonky mess that was hard to pause but this was not the case. The T-Rex head can also be paused with its position as well as the mouth which can be open or shut. So in this set you do get two minifigures in total, them being Owen Grady and Darius as well as a baby Triceratops molded figure. Fun fact for you all, this particular version of Owen Grady as a minifigure has been in 14 Lego sets and two books. No wonder I feel like he's everywhere. This version features a printed torso with a blue top under a brown open vest type jacket and blue bottoms with a printed bit for his belt. He has two facial expressions that you can choose from as well as molded blonde-ish hair. The Darius minifigure features a printed torso as well with a white top under a yellow jacket with what looks to be a dinosaur tooth necklace I believe and grey bottoms with no printing on. Like Owen Grady he 
also has two facial expressions and molded black hair. The baby triceratops figure is actually quite cute. It's dual molded for two colours and has printing along the sides and on the face with an opening in the middle for if you want one of the characters to ride it I guess. The only printed part in this set is actually the T-Rex head used for the model of the T-Rex fossil and with only two stickers this set wasn't bad to put together at all. Overall I quite like this set, maybe not as much as I thought I would due to the colours used for the T-Rex but I will probably pose this set somewhere and display it. The desk mini build although quite interesting in the end I will probably end up taking apart and using the parts for another project. The included minifigures aren't anything to write home about, especially considering that if you're a fan of these sets you probably have at least two or more of these Owen Grady minifigures, but they do the job. For £28 I feel the price is quite expensive so I'd probably recommend buying it if you can get it around the £20 mark. So what do you guys think of this set? If you like this video give it a thumbs up, if not you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for videos like this as well as other LEGO videos and I'll see you in the next video.